just a little bit of uh, of confidence and reassurance that mm -hmm. uh, that you know I'm able to play on these courts. Benoit is really tricky on the clay, so uh, yeah, I'm really happy with with uh, with the match today. It's a little bit unlucky. I had a lot of chances, but uh, you know, credits to Benoit. He played he played incredible in the break points, and then down 3-0 in the tie break, the guy came out with uh, with a lot of big shots. So uh, yeah, it's it's a tough one to swallow, but uh, you know, at the same time, it's uh, it's kind of a perfect week heading to heading into Roland Garros. Okay, how would you sum up this clay court season, especially compared to last one? It seemed like you seemed to have a lot. A lot of frustrations here and there. Yeah, I mean, I, I just think I had tough draws, to be honest, on this clay season. Um, you know, a bit unlucky. Um, played some tough players, but I don't think I've been playing so bad. It's just, like I said, it's unlucky, you know. One tournament, I drew Felix. Next round would be Rafa. The other tournament, you know, Karina Busta. Next round's Novak Djokovic, you know. So so these are, these are big tournaments. And uh, it helps when you have, you know, a couple couple matches to help you get into the tournament. And unfortunately, I didn't have those, um, you know, this year. So I tried to to get actually a wall card into this tournament so I can have a couple more matches mm -hmm. to kind of just get a feel feel for the clay, feel for a little bit more points um, and situations like today. So um, I'm happy with the week. Obviously, it didn't didn't uh, fold out, you know, as 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 well as I wanted to, but. Uh, it's tennis, you know, sometimes you win 7-6 in the third, sometimes you lose, you know, there's there's nothing I could do today. He played he played really well in the tie break, so I'm just going to take what I learned from this week and uh, head to head to Roland Garros. And last question, we've got three guys seated in the men's singles mm -hmm. draw this year from Canada, which I find completely ridiculously yeah. insane. How, how, is, how is it going to feel different going in there? I'm not, I'm not asking the, how, is, how come Canadian tennis is doing so well question, yeah, I'm not yeah, asking yeah. that one. Just purely from the fact that, that you, you, there are three of you there, yeah. you're not going to run into each other for yeah. a few rounds and, and it's, it's big. Yeah, I think it's amazing to see so many so many Canadian players for so in the draw, but also also seated, also with the women's side to see Bianca, you know, seated and, and I mean, playing playing these tournaments, these majors, it's, uh, it's great to it's kind of be on the on the on the rise you know with with uh, a couple of my friends it's uh it's a really good feeling and uh yeah i mean i mean it's a great moment for for canadian tennis i think i don't think it's ever been at this level before i think i think we're also inspiring a lot of kids to, to pick up rackets and just i think the whole sport is growing in 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 the country you know now all of a sudden i go into i go into you know pubs and and restaurants and all of a sudden you know it's more tennis is more on tv whereas before it was always hockey 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 now all of a sudden you know i see felix playing on a screen or bianca you know and it's it's amazing and i think i think if we keep going this way it's uh te canada is really going to become like a a tennis developed country to be part of the group do you feel like well, do you feel do you feel do you are you do you feel felix coming up right behind you I mean your ranking is so close now and it's yeah. a different dynamic oh, I when feel you're like it. oh my little brother and it's great it's gonna be so good and now all of a sudden he's right behind you I feel it but I think it's amazing like I mean of course we're rivals on one side but then on the other side at the end of the day it doesn't matter who has the best the better career the better you know this really? that truly it doesn't matter because we're both doing what we love you know and we're both happy for each other because honestly we're brothers and we we wish the best for each other so obviously when we play each other, we want to win. But other than that, I mean, it's amazing to see him climb the rankings and, and have that little bit little bit of push for me. You know, I see him right behind me. I'm like, damn it, you know, I don't want to fall behind him. So I'm going to try to work harder. I'm going to try to keep going. And I think we've been doing that since juniors. And I just, I think it's it's amazing. But even from Bianca's side, you know, she's like, she's like 20, 21 in the world too. And we're like, damn, we want to be ahead of her. You know, <laughs> she's, she's winning masters. We want to do that, you know, so. So we keep pushing each other. I think I think it's amazing because, like I said, at the end of the day, okay, you know, maybe I'll have a better career. Maybe he'll have a better career. But like, that's just that's just part of our life. You're you both know? gonna have good careers. For, yeah, yeah. I, I think so. You know, if if injuries don't happen, if we right. keep, you know, if our heads stay straight, I think it's gonna be great. But you know, that's that's just a part of our life. And and like, look at LeBron. He's figured it out too, right? He he knows how to like divide you know basketball from its regular life and at the end like it does matter your career and everything but at the end I mean we're both doing what we love doesn't matter who's who's greater who's not you know I think we both made an impact in the country in the sport already and, yeah. yeah and we will continue to do so and I think it's great either way and we're, we're regardless you know we're gonna be happy for each other and like I said it just it just pushes each other so it's just such a healthy rivalry